अच्छी खाई Is everything okay? You're a friend I never wanted my sister to have. I never supported your friendship with her. I love my sister so much. And I know she loves me with her life. She couldn't have betrayed me and taken my man without your support. You spoiled her. You changed her mind, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Death is not the greatest loss. The greatest loss is what dies inside of us. I have lost the will to continue to live. Because that which I cherish so much has died inside of me. Zubechi. Death is now my companion. Where are you? Please, start coming to my house now. It's a matter of life and death. What have you on all of now? Please, it's very urgent. Biko, Biko. Chikaima. Hold on, okay? You need to think this through. There is nothing to think through. I have decided to die here. You are the murderer. Tell my sister that I love her so much. But I will never forgive her. Not even in the world beyond. Oninechi, today I curse you. You will never find your new love in your life. You will never answer wife to any man on planet Earth. Good luck with your life. From my rotten body, flowers shall grow. And I am in them. What are you saying? Till insanity. Chicken. I love you, Zoben. Been in the hospital and you couldn't let me know. It's your father. He gave an instruction that we should not let you know, even your sister. But why now? Papa. Hey. Hey. Why didn't you let me know Papa has been in the hospital? Sister, Papa warned me not to tell you. Even Mama here, she seized my phone. It's because of your father's instruction. Hey. Papa, Papa, don't. 
What is she doing here? Who invited her here? No, who invited this idiot to this place? Shut that trap, you call him. No, you shut your you trap. Silly smelling bitch. No, you silly bitch. You are in your shut bed. up, shut up. Papa. Papa. It is true that I strictly instructed your mother and your grandma not to tell you. But on a second thought, I decided to invite you so that I can have some rest in tea. Because I don't know if I'm going to survive this sickness. So you are my daughters, and you are the only thing I have. I want you to join hands with your grandma to take care of your mother in case I join my ancestors. And again, ensure peace in this family so that wherever I am, I'll be happy that my family is in peace. Please. Papa, you will not die. But I will not stay here and listen to you talk to this idiot. I'll rather leave because she disgusts me you right now. You are a pig. You are a, a disgusting no. one at that. You and Papa your... is on the verge of dying and your motherless self cannot have some goddamn pussy. You, you, Mama, can you hear what she's saying? No, she wants about to die so she can inherit his property. You and your husband are pigs. Bloody idiots. Yes. <laughs> Why now? You know she's coming now. Please, give me some urgent surgery immediately. So who among you was? This is really getting out of hand. We need to do something very fast before those two end up killing themselves. They do what exactly? I mean, how do we come around and start telling two others how to behave, how to act? They're not toddlers, for goodness sake. They're not kids. How do we come around and start telling them this is how you should relate with your sister? This It doesn't make no sense to me. It doesn't. I should be able to tell you what um, triggered the rancor between them. The problem is exactly. I mean, on several occasions I have tried to probe her. I have tried to make her talk to me and tell me the, 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 the cause of the antipathy between them. To no avail. Till now, no word from her. Nothing. Crazy. Crazy? Really crazy. You know, I've um, also tried for my end, but all to no avail. She's not telling me anything. But I insist, we must do something. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, hello. What? Is everything all right? Papa, you know, right? You have finally accomplished your wish. I'll kill you, you this girl. I'll kill you with my hands. I'll kill you. You see. <laughs> Let me end it. Who am I going to see? What am I? What am I going to Papa, <laughs> Let me at least your
You and your sister killed my husband. He gave his life trying to settle your stupid quarrel. He is dead. Now you are happy, right? You are happy. Mama, Zubechi killed Papa, not me. Last night, Papa appeared in my dream and said we should reconcile. I felt it, it was real. Zubechi came from nowhere and shot me. She always wanted to eliminate me, Mama. Mama, I have a very strong feeling that Zubechi belongs to an occult. And I'm very sure about it, I'm certain. Sister, how could you? How could you people do this to Papa? The doctor said Papa was fighting to heal. Papa desperately wanted to see the both of you. Saying the both of you was supposed to make him feel better. And now, Papa is nowhere to be found. Papa is dead. Are you guys happy? Are you happy? To make you cute, Papa. To make you cute, Papa. To make you cute, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Silas, Mary. It's Silas. <laughs> what do you think you're going to? I'm going to see Mama. Out of my way. So you can kill her the way you killed Papa. Huh? Okwaya? You want to kill Mama the way you killed Papa? I don't have strength to fight some more. Out of respect for Papa, get out of my way. Subechi, you belong to an occult. Your mission is to eliminate everyone. But I will not stand and watch you kill Mama the way you killed Papa. It will not happen. Get out of my That's way. Enough. No! That's enough. Chick Emma. She's your elder sister. You can't prevent her from seeing your mother. What happened was just an accident. It was intentional. She's a blood sucker. She's evil. She wants to kill Mama the way she killed Papa. I will not be alive and allow that to happen. Never. Are you mad? That's enough. Eh? You think I'm joking with you? That's enough. You just lost your Let mother. Let her get down. Let her leave this place. I don't want to see her. This is not the time for fight. She should go. Don't stop it. She should get out. Nonsense. You. Ah! What? What? your father. You just lost him. You shouldn't be doing this. I was merely controlling myself. I felt like killing her. But you have to stop saying that. She's your sister. Who the hell does she think she is? Stopping me from seeing my mother. Look at that little girl trying to get in the way of me taking charge of my family. I am the other in this family. I ought to be in there, not here. I know. I know you're the Nobody is disputing that fact. You are the other. Yes. I understand how you feel. You see, that was maturity. Okay? That doesn't mean you're weak. It doesn't mean you're weak. Oh, you just have to go back to the city. If not for the back. respect I have for my father, I would have shown her today with a note of finality that I am the other and she is beneath me. You are the other. I know that. Everybody knows that you are the other. But you have to calm down. Call your husband, let him come and handle things himself. He's already on this way. Better, you have to start going before he before gets late. Start going, you go. Papa! You! You better be very My father has died. I do not want to ever see Zubechi 
around this house or around this vicinity again. If I see her, blood will flow. I will kill her, Mama. And I mean it. You just lost your father. It's okay. Calm down. You know, go. I'm not calming down. Who tell me to calm down? The baby is stupid. Look at what she did to me. If I catch her here, it will not be funny. Oh, God. Oh. Wait. Please excuse me. No problem. I need some friends. What's your name? Do you go to Disgracing yourself and this family. You have to respect your dead father. Even if you have an issue with your sister. You should keep it pending until we are done grieving. I will not say this again. It's a pity, Mama. This is the greatest shock of my life. I mean, Dozier and I were with him a few days back. He even demanded to see his daughters. I never knew that was the last time we ever set our eyes on him. You know, honestly, it's still like a dream to me. We saw him a couple of um, days ago. He wasn't looking that bad. I mean, one wouldn't have expected that this would happen. As a matter of fact, we, we were working and seeing him this weekend. And now this happened. But wait a minute, Mama. Has the doctor given any report in regards to his death? You have not spoken to your wife? My wife? No, I haven't. I have been trying to reach out on the phone. Uh, her phone is not reachable. You need to talk with her. Talk with her? Why, Mama? What's, what's going on? Is everything all right with her? Is she okay? She killed my father. What? What is that thing you're talking about? She wanted to hit me with her shoes. She missed. The shoes landed on Papa's head. Mama, what, 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 is, she, what is she talking about? Um, I'm tired. I need to go in and rest. I'll sleep too. I'll see you both tomorrow before you go back to Enugu. Good night. Good night of Kenneth. Good night of Chibuzia. Chikama, where, where is your sister now? She's not my sister. I totally unbelievable! I can't believe it. You killed your father. Listen to me. You were fighting your kid sister right before your sick father. I have told you, I have told you countless times to act as the older sister that you are. I have warned you, I have advised you, I have told you severally not to stoop so low to her level. I have told you, Zupe, I have told you not to let her get into you, but you wouldn't listen. Rather, you choose rape and run call over peace. Look at you now. You couldn't even respect your father. You didn't put into consideration the fact that he was on a sick bed. You went as far as fighting your sister right before your parents. You are not the woman I married. 
And I never saw all these traces in you. If I did, I wouldn't have married you. I won't see anything yet until the funeral is over. Sister responsible for your father's death. Excuse you. Did you invite me here to apportion blames on me or console me? I was there when everything happened. She wanted to come for me. As a matter of fact, she came for me. Did she hit my father on the head? It could have been me. That girl is a murderer. She has always wanted my father dead. Stop it. Stop that right now. Right now. Stop. You've always accused yourself of so many things, including trying to kill you in your dreams. You need to stop all this. That's all in your head. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you not taking sides with my sister? Kinechuku, do not talk to me again. Do not dare talk to me about this issue again. Where are you going to? Listen, I'm your husband. You do not disrespect me like that. What is wrong with you? Listen, anyone who supports Zubechi is my enemy. If you are not careful, I will start treating you like one, like my enemy. The issue between Zubechi and I is a very sensitive one. Stay away from it. If you don't know how to go about it or what to say about it, shut the fuck up! You want to hit me? Go ahead, go on, hit me, be a man. She has gotten to you, right? She has bewitched you. I know all her plans, but guess what? I will tame her. She cannot turn my husband against me, not when I'm alive. has completely destroyed me. She has ruined me. She provoked me. I couldn't control myself. I attacked her. And that led to the death of my father. How do I ever forgive myself for this? I mean, this has to be the worst experience of my life. <sighs> it's okay. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Look, Subim, you have to put yourself together. You are the other. You have to behave like one. Your sister has been taking a toll on you. That is because you've been tolerating her. Now she has destroyed you. She will make your life miserable. Look, you have to fight back. You have to destroy her life too. You have to act fast. Yes, she will take your position in the family and get you excommunicated. Not you sitting down here and lamenting like a child. You have to do something. Art! Art! What should I do? I hate that girl with so much passion. She's the worst thing that has ever happened to me. That girl is evil. I regret having her as my sister. She has always wanted my father dead. Now he is dead. To tell you the truth, 
I will never take this rubbish from my older sister. I will make sure I place her where she rightfully belongs. Look, Chikaima. You have to be wise now. If you don't act fast, she will take you out too. Yes. You know your father has lots of landed properties. And with the way I'm saying it, her next move would be to eliminate you. So you have to be security conscious. She can't. She tried to do it spiritually, but she couldn't. She cannot even confront me physically. Chikaima, you are talking too much. What if you eliminate her first before she does? You mean kill her first? Yes, kill her. But how do I do it? <laughs> Your husband was one of the most generous and kind person while on earth. My heart goes out to you and your family at this time. May God comfort you. Amen. And may he see you too. Amen. I will always put you in my prayers and I hope friends and family comfort you at this time. Um, thank you very much, Reverend Father. You're welcome. I really appreciate. I have already told Assistant Catkist to stand for me till when I'm back. It's okay. Just take your time. When you're okay, we are waiting for you. Thank you, Father, once again. Um, Father, I will need a favor from you. Go on. Anything. Um, please, I would like you to invite my two daughters. Like I informed you some years back, they're still having that problem. Instead of them to settle the issue, it keeps on increasing and increasing. My husband, while he was alive, tried everything humanly possible to make sure he made peace between them, but all efforts proved abortive. And since his death, I've tried everything within me and my reach to make sure I made peace between them, all to no avail. Father, please, I want you to make peace between them before the burial. Invite them. I believe they will respect and hear you. Please. It's okay, my sister. I will. Just send your number across to me. I will take it up from there. Thank you, Father. Okay. All right. Thank you. Peace be unto you. I will be your spirit. I will be on my way. Thank you, Father. See you soon. I will never take this rubbish from my older sister. I will make sure I place her where she rightfully belongs. Look, Chikaima, you have to be wise now. If you don't act fast, she will take you out too. Yes. You know your father has lots of landed properties. And with the way I'm saying it, her next move would be to eliminate you. 
So you have to be security conscious. Subim, you have to put yourself together. You are the other. You have to behave like one. Your sister has been taking a toll on you. That is because you've been tolerating her. Now she has destroyed you. She will make your life miserable. Look, you have to fight back. You have to destroy her life too. You have to act fast. Yes, she will take your position in the family. What is it? Um, good day, Auntie. Why are you panting? Nothing. Chelsea? Chelsea! What happened? I don't know. I just called this just called that my wife had been shot and brought in here. That's why I called you immediately. Oh, shit. What's the present situation right now? She's in surgery. She's trying to get a bullet out. Who wants my wife dead? Oh my Who's trying God. to kill my wife? Look, 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 calm down, Kenny. Calm down. Alright? I believe she's gonna be okay. Let's 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 see. Let's, let's go see the doctor, okay? Come on, man. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go see the doctor. It's, it, she's gonna be alright. Let's go. Hi, Auntie Zubichi. All is not well. I'm at St. Mark's Hospital. Your sister has been shot. She's in surgery. She needs a donor. Yes, I know I should have told you earlier when I, I came to get brother's medical report. But because of the situation between you and your sister, I. Right now, we are out of option. Yes, St. Mark's Hospital. What is this? What is happening? Who is going to die again? No, I reject it. It will not happen. Obioma! Obioma! Come, 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 come! Bring me anointing oil, it's in my room. Bring it! I said bring it to me first! Bring it! Ha! I render all the works of the evil ones powerless. No weapon formed against me or my family shall prosper. I. Wait, 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 wait. 
I reject all the plans of I reject it. I am called to life. I am called to minister. And that ministration is for life, not death. None of my family member will die prematurely. I will not die prematurely. Nobody will die prematurely in this our family again. I render all the works of the evil ones powerless. The plans of the enemy. I have no covenant with Satan. Therefore, any demonic power, any satanic power planned against me, planned against my family, will be fruitless. Amen. I reject it. Amen. I stand on the rock called Jesus Christ and he shall be well with me. Amen. He shall be well with my family. Amen. He shall be well with my children. Amen. We will not go for We will not die. Amen. We will prosper. Amen. We shall live and live and live in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes, you have failed. Mama, what is going on? You know, we were wrong to have kept this to ourselves. We should have told her. Look, I, I was just trying to avoid any stupid drama. I mean, anything that would have worsened the situation. You know these people, you know these women. They've been at loggerheads. I mean, I didn't think it was the best thing to let her know. Oh, bro. I'm so confused, bro. Who would want my wife dead? She doesn't keep friends. She's not a troublesome person. She's not in any fights with anyone except. Bro. You know what, little sis? The funny thing about facing imminent death is that it puts every other thing in perspective. Your time is up. You have humiliated, insulted, and messed me up for the longest time. Your plan was to eliminate me so you can take over the position of the Ada in our family. Look at you. The stupid idiot I sent to kill you couldn't take a clean shot. And now here I am to finish with this stuff. Goodbye, kids, sis. Kill me, right? Take her away. Oh, you're away. Don't touch me. Let's leave this place. You need to leave right now. All right? Please leave. Leave now. Just leave. Leave now. Every day fighting, fighting, fighting. Why did you let her come in here? We didn't know she wants to kill me. That's all right, baby. How are you doing? Go and make sure she's gone. Babe, just calm down. Okay, she's gone. She wants to kill me. She's a murderer. Go and check, please. All right, fine, fine. I'll go check. Or just relax, okay? Just go now. She's a murderer. Every day, 
boss fight. Fagat liya, manalo manife. Fagat mboko, ango kabunike. Fagat liya. Get to shame, they no get to respect, they no get to regard their tongue. Do you honestly believe I sent people to shoot her? Is it a shrunk of between you and your sister that's getting out of hand? I am not the one triggering it, she is. And she's the one lying on the hospital bed and not you. She almost got killed. You see, you should leave this hospital premises before you two create another scene. When will this fighting come to an end? Get it more for no good, no hunger, no city. Okay. I'll go. I will go and make some food for you guys. My husband will bring it. That will be nice. Fighting, fighting, never reaching Everyone, never the one day. She's gone. Look, you need to get her arrested for attempted murder. You need to calm down. Relax. You're being too hard on yourself. What do you mean I'm being too hard on myself? My sister tried to kill me and I survived, and you're saying I'm being too hard on myself? Do you know what I've been through? Calm down. Okay? Just calm down. Everything is going to be all right. Everything will only be fine once she's in jail. Jail? Yes. <sighs> it's all right. I'll have the police look into this. What do you mean you have the police look into this? Zubichi is responsible. What else do you want to hear? Just let them do their job. For now, I need to relax. Okay? You're in pain. Relax. Please. Why is your face like this? I'm hungry. Someone stole my money today in school. What? Someone stole your money? Yes. I'm so sorry. I know how you feel. But be patient. You will go to the market and get something. No, I can't be patient. I can't be patient. I'm hungry. You know that Mama is not around to cook for us. But you can cook porridge jam. Okay, I'll cook it for you. On one condition. Which is? Why cook it? We'll sing and dance our favorite song. Pinky finger. Pinky finger. That's my sister. Oh, you 
Nancy. Are you okay? I know you love your sister so much, even though she hates you with passion. I am very sure by now she will be thinking you are responsible for what happened to her. But please, do not let that bother you. You are the kindest woman I've ever met in my life. Thank you. You're welcome. These condiments are for the food I'm making for her and her husband. Oh. I will need you to take it to them when I'm done. Okay, okay. sure. I'll do that. One more thing. When you arrive at the hospital with this food, don't tell them I made it. Tell them my husband instructed you to make the food. If she knows it's me, you know she won't yeah, get it. Yeah, I understand. I will. So let me get on with it. Okay. Yeah. She's evil. If you had listened to me, this wouldn't have happened. I told you to eliminate her first before she does. I didn't have time to think about it. There is nothing to think about. Your sister will not rest until you are wiped out from the surface of this earth. What would you have me do? Kill her first. But I can't. I'm on the hospital bed. I'm, I'm helpless. I can't do anything. I was shot by my sister's assailant. I'll help you. Going what on. have you done? I don't understand what's going on. Why are you embarrassing me in my own bar? You tried to eliminate my sister. Why? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. My sister is in the hospital and she's just been shot. Is she dead? What is the matter with you? I might be at loggerheads with my sister, but I still love her. It's you who planted the idea of eliminating her into my head. So when I didn't execute, you went and executed on my behalf? Why? Look, Subim, enough. I did not do it. I wish I did, but I did not. Abigail, I am being serious here. I am serious too. I did not send anyone to kill your sister. So, if you didn't do it, who did? <laughs> it looks like your sister has accumulated lots of enemy for herself. Do you think we should tell Mama about this? 
Hell no. No, no, we, we, we can't. Wait a minute. I hope you haven't called out yet. No, no. Before I do anything, I have to tell you first. You know that. Beautiful. Look, that woman has been through a lot already. Her husband is still in the mug. And we, the last thing she want to be confronted with right now is this news. So I suggest we handle this internally. It's all right. Look, um, Ken and your wife will be all right. Okay? I mean, we're lucky that it was an amateur that tried to eliminate her. Or maybe the person was just in a hurry. I guess. Yes. And my comeback again. I think I need to get a personal security for my wife. And that will. If you ask me, I think that might not be necessary. The hospital already have enough security network. She needs a security at the world. It's important. All right? I'll do that immediately. So fine. It still feels as if I just got shot. <laughs> it's okay. You will be fine soon. Brother Kenechuku and Chidoze asked me to bring this food to you. They're on their way. Thank you. Chelsea. I'm sorry for slapping you. I'm really, really sorry. Please accept my apology. <sighs> it's okay. I understand. Please get to us soon. I'll see you. Chini, you said you were hungry earlier on. Food is here. Eat. No, you have to eat first. <laughs> I'm not hungry. I insist. the more you can. When my husband comes, he will feed me. Okay. Let me eat this for them. Oh. Mm -hmm. You like it? No. Oh. So it's fine. Who could be after my sister? Who has she offended? Look, those million questions should be directed to her. She should be in the best position to answer that. If you don't have a hand in her failed assassination attempt, and I clearly don't. Oh my God, it means the the perpetrators are close by. And they might strike again. Well, that should be of a great relief to you. Yes. What are you talking about? You've been trying to get your sister out of the way. Whoever that is trying to get rid of her should be encouraged. In fact, the person is doing you a huge favor. If she dies, you know your hands are clean. Girl, let me tell you something. It is you. It's you who has been planting those evil thoughts in my head. I never wanted my sister dead. I need to leave this place. 
I need to see my husband. That hospital is clearly not conducive for her anymore. What do, you, what, what do you mean she's not breathing? What, what happened to her? Excuse me. No, you're not feeling fine. <gasps> Gotten over the shock that uh, 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 Chick Herman was, was, was almost killed. And now we have to worry about this. Doctor, what could be the cause of this? <sighs> there is nothing I can say now until the lab result is out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, well, I, I have to go and be with them now. Huh? Thank you very much, Doctor. It's okay. Once the result comes out, I'll take it along with me. It's all right. Thank you. Next patient, please. You need to calm down, darling. You need to calm down. That food was poisoned. Please don't say that. Stop. Please. She died after eating the food. The food was poisoned. Babe, I understand that you're stressed, pressured, all right? But you need to put yourself together. Why will someone try to poison you? That's the question. 
Why would someone want to kill me? The person that tried to kill me poisoned the food. Who made the food? What, what food are you talking about? Your sister said you and my husband asked her to bring food for me. Who made the food? Wait a minute. You mean Jesse brought you food and told you that we, we asked her to bring you that food? Yes. Who made the food? I'll be right back. Who made the phone? Babe, the doctor is running a series of tests to ascertain the cause of death. You need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. That food was meant for me. I would have been dead by now. Not Jinae. I need to know who made the food. My life might be in danger. We need to know! That's enough, that's enough, alright? Sit down. Oh my sit, God. Down. sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Did you run a test on the food also? I did not. Thank you. Where do you want me, Yero? Where do you want me, Yero? For me, Chai. What's your own, you are all men now? Come. Where you? Huh? Come. Ah, don't me now. Come. What could be? Huh? One man. You the Chris? Why be saying that you the God to give me food? Huh? Come. Make I tell you something, eh? An hungry man. He's an angry man. One day I go turn to lion for you. I go shop you. I will just shop you. Eh? If you say if I don't shop where, I go take cash and all those kidnappers and I'm not buying them without this compound. Eh? You be jack boy. Eh? Eh, come. What's your point? Ah. Ah, shikin be this one. Nah, lie. You give me shikin. Come. You just say love portion on the end because this shikin they test love, love, love. Why go you no say I no go give you chicken? He to say na me cook am. I no talk say na mother cook this food. Ah ah, come, 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 come. Now me ask you something. This one where mother cook by herself. Tell me true. Say na Christmas. Now only you know no for this house say they shoot madam sister. Ah. Abi. Madam sister. Now only you know no say they shoot madam for this house. Abi. Now you no tell me. Yes I do. Who do that bitch? Yes. What do you want to do? Let me hide. Huh? You don't know where I be. Hi. This is my uniform to deceive you. Come, I'll be meeting doctor. I'll just do it tomorrow for another person. Try, try. I'll hey. observe you. I'll just observe you. Joseph? Mom? Shouldn't you be at the office? I mean, I went there and it's locked. Where is my husband? He's not taking his calls. Um, I think he has gone to the hospital. Thank God, I need to reach him. Why? Is anything the matter? My sister is not safe in that hospital. It is very clear to me that whoever it is that struck will be willing to strike again and we must prevent it. I need you to go to the hospital and arrange for some sort of protection for my sister while I keep trying to reach my husband. Nobody's making my calls. What is this okay, about? Okay, I will do that. Get on it while I okay. keep dialing my husband. Oh, 
Who would this be my cause? Why? Mama, madam. Idafi. How many times have I warned you not to address me as small madam? My name is Chelsea. I'm not there with you. I'm not just there with you at all. What is it? How Percy go shoot madam and sister? You not tell me. Tell you as what? Please? Ami? Or DSS? This guy is for this company. You know, they underrate me. You don't know where I be, oh. See, eh? My name now is Dafi. How can I blow this year? One. From worry. See, make I tell you. Very soon, eh? My pa go die. I go hear it. Neti don't Enough! Don't you ever in your life stop me for this nonsense again. Idiots. Hmm? You don't know me, oh. <laughs> you don't know me. I've been this daughter. My name is Edafi. I'm gonna blow the one from Wari Kingdom. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> the result is out. Not today. Okay, this is very, very I said not today. Now they want me for this compound though. I thought they want me. I don't know who I be. Eh? Just tell me with it. Just tell me. Make I know who get that mind. Come shoot oh, Madam Sister for compound one for the manage. Eh? I don't know say me and Nancy daughter. Now once I'll just do two more for the best picture go clear. I'll just buy him. See, Oga, this gets my uniform when I wear. May not deceive you. My real talent and native doctor. Uh, this money should I have just help you solve. You know what I'm saying? Problem share is uh, very easy to solve. I will just solve them. I'm I've been calling you. You know, you haven't been picking your calls. As I speak to you, there's a situation on Hold ground. Wait a minute. Did you make the food that was taken to the hospital? Oh, yes, I did. I did. But I instructed Chelsea. Not to let anyone know it was me that made it, especially Kaima. What's the matter? Listen, what is it? listen, baby. Everything is the matter right now. Everything is the matter. I don't even know where to start from. I don't know how to explain this. What? <laughs> Your sister's friend started throwing up blood immediately she finished eating that same food that you made. What? Yes. And as we speak right now, she's dead. Your sister believed that food was poison. What? Yes, and that you are responsible for that. Why? Why will I do such a thing? Ah. Uh, what? What happens if you could not call that person again? I tell you, I'm the gay guy issue. Ah. That's canon. Are you calling? Why is your madam? There she is. Detective, that's a suspect. What is the meaning of this? What is going on? What is Your wife tried to kill my wife twice, but she failed. How am I sure you're not part of the plot? What the hell are you talking about, brother? Detective, arrest her. Now. Mrs. Zubecho Kafo, you're under arrest for the murder of Miss Chinene. And attempted murder on Mrs. Chikai Maubi, you have the right to remain silent. For whatever you say, it will be used against you in the court of law. Do you believe me? Kenny, what is the meaning of this? I mean, you couldn't call me over on the phone now? so we discussed this. Don't touch me. Get Go. your hands off me. I don't want to hurt you. Please take her away. Oh, don't touch me. I am not resisting arrest. I'll go with you. All right. Move. Let's go. 
You are going to fix this, aren't you? Move. Let's go! Now! Who are you and what are you looking for? I'm looking for Auntie Kaima. Who are you? My name is Chelsea. Please, can you tell her I came to see her? A minute. Okay. Hi, Auntie. How are you? I'm getting better. Oh, thank God. Who made the food you brought here? Um, it was Auntie Zubechi. She told me not to tell you because she knows you were going to make a scene about it. into the food. What? She tried to kill me the second time. Poison the food? No, 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 this bitch is not capable of that. She's capable of doing anything. That woman is evil. She's a wolf in sheep clothing. My husband has gone to arrest her. She will rot in jail. Honestly, Auntie, I don't think she's capable of that. She loves you. She doesn't love anybody. Your brother needs to be careful. Zubichi is evil. Look, I am beginning to like you. I have slapped you twice insulted you, insulted your family. Yet you still came to check on me. I am beginning to like you, Chelsea. I have always liked you. Just that your hatred for Antizovich has made you toxic and unfriendly. You're right. It has made me toxic.
Can I ask you something? Go on. What happened between you and Antizibichi? I know something big must have happened. Years ago, Zubichi and I were best friends. More than sisters, we were very close. What changed? I know, baby. I can't wait to see you. I miss you so much. I can't even concentrate anymore. I'm even feeling sick. Your love is giving me fever. Love, one thing. It's my sister. Do you want to speak with her? Hold on. Love, one thing. I'm my boy. Wants to talk to you. Just talk to me. Mm. Oh. Hello. I'm fine. <laughs> How about you? Eh. <laughs> So when are we seeing you? Wow! Ha! Please, oh, we cannot wait. Because in this house, we don't hear anything aside your name. Bob with this. Bob with that. My Bob. My Bob. Bob, Bob. Bob. Give me my Love, phone. Want to do Give me my phone. <laughs> See, I need to move away from this girl. <laughs> she doesn't want to go and look for her own boyfriend. She's waiting for... There's then wash it in before she can say yes. If I let me step away from her, let me go and talk to you, my love. What is this? Bob was a man after my own heart. He was in the UK. We were classmates before he traveled to London. He searched for my handle on Facebook. I was in love with him. In fact, we were in love. We started talking. My sister knew I was in love with him. I told her everything. When it was time for Bob to come back, are you serious? What is it? What is it he is finally coming to Nigeria. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm serious. <laughs> He's coming. Yes. When? In two weeks. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Ha, thank God, though. So that my ears will rest. So now we can drink water and drop the cup. Chukwekene. <laughs> is it to be? Mm. I would like you to do me a favor. Okay, what is it? Hey, I would like you to get me a very nice hotel in Oka. He'll be coming to Oka. You know Oka is close to this place. Okay. If we both leave, my mom and papa will notice and they'll get angry. Can you do me a favor? Can you help me get him a nice hotel? Sauce. Is that all you want? Yes. I will do it for you. Do it for me. Okay, ma. Do my sister. I'll do anything for you. Sissy, get me one of the best hotels. See, he has money. Uh -uh. In fact, the hotel should be gang. Gang. Oh, baby. Very gang. Uh -uh. Yes. Miss Kakuma! Hey, hey, hey! Why are you gonna make Yanga? Why are you not gonna make Yanga? Why are you not gonna make Yanga? I know a couple of hotels in Oka. <clears throat> it's not a problem. But my problem is what? I, what's the problem? What's the problem? How could you be the one arranging hotel for your sister's husband to be? Why should I be the one doing that for you as an elder sister? It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> you, you're the one not making sense. It's like a mockery to me. It's not. I love my sister. And I'm happy to help. We both know how much she loves the man in question. I don't see anything wrong with what I'm doing. Mm. We are not debating about your sisterly affection to your sister, no. What I'm debating about the bad omen associated with that. What bad omen? As if you don't know. Just check around this village, this whole village. I can count how many in this village that the younger ones married before the older ones. And the older ones 
ended up in their father's house till death. And I wouldn't want that to happen to you. Nepanyaki. If you were in my shoes, what would you do? I started looking for my phone. I searched everywhere for it. I thought Zubechi took it. Zubin, hmm? have you seen my phone? No. Why do you think we're Yes, I cannot find it. Eh? Bob should be very worried. Please, can you help me call the phone? It says switched off. Yeah. Switched off? A phone that I charged, full battery. How? Hey, God. Have you asked Mama? Mama is still sleeping. Go and check her room. Understand. Did somebody enter the house and steal my phone? Eh? I've checked everywhere. I cannot find it. It's not even in Mama's room. Bob would be worried though. Hey. Do you have Bob's number of hand? Yes. Okay. Take my phone. Dial his number. Tell him this is your sister's phone and he can reach you with my line. I know what I'm saying, no. I cannot bring myself to do this. I hate to see my sister sad. And she has been sad since she lost her phone. Although, he has promised to buy her an iPhone when he comes back. An iPhone? Mm -hmm. ah. So, why are you behaving like a kid? This is your opportunity. <laughs> Without your phone, you can't get to talk to her. So this is the perfect time for me to strike. Strike what? You can have one. Now shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. You are more prettier than your sister. Always check on him. Yes, check on him. Call him all the time. More than he calls your sister. Do everything possible to make sure that he's coming back for you and not your sister. That is evil. And wickedness. See, no. you are wise, not wicked. Your sister is pretty, eh? But you're prettier. Mm -hmm. Do everything to make sure that this guy gets married to you. Your sister is still very much young. Younger than you. You are getting old in your own father's house. And if she marries before you, People will think that something is wrong with you. Act fast. Make use of this opportunity. I'm talking to you as a friend. I still can't get him. He's been saying disconnected for days now. I have a very bad feeling about this. Have you tried chatting him on Facebook? I went to the cyber cafe to chat him up. But he wasn't responding. Even the messages has not delivered up till now. Are you sure something has not happened to him? This is very strange, Joe. Eh? What do I do? Give him some time. Maybe he traveled to a no network area. No, he's supposed to be back by this weekend. Something is not right. Hey, what do I do? I don't know.
Somebody's here to see you. Sibi, she told me she had a job interview in the city. She traveled for one week. When she came back, she was looking all different. New clothes, new shoes, new hair. She was looking all classy and expensive. I was inquisitive. I asked her how she got all those things. She told me it was the owner of the company that bought it for her that the man was in love with her. How are you holding up? Let's see. I am being accused of trying to kill my sister. I was arrested and thrown into cell. How do you think I'm holding up? Look, I will get you out of here. Okay, there are plans in place already. I promise you, I will get you out of here. I just need you to be patient with me. Okay. Why haven't you asked if I am guilty of the allegation leveled against me? The way you are my wife. I know you're not capable of whatever allegation that has been leveled against you. I mean, you can be hot-headed, you're mad at your sister, you, you don't want to see her, whatever the case might be. I know you are not capable of trying to take your sister's life. So I don't need to ask you. I know you are innocent. Did you bring the ring? Yes, I did. That, that reminds me, where is this coming from? I mean, who gave it to you? I have never seen you with this ring before, now neither have I seen it in the house. You wanna talk about it? more than I saw you in the video call. Thank wow. you, thank you so much. <laughs> Sit down. Yeah. was deceived by my video call. Look at how beautiful you are. Oh, you're handsome yourself. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Oh, come on, baby, what do you want? Hey, who is there? Oh. This, this, what do you care for? No, I'm fine. No, baby, you need something. I mean, one bottle of big champagne, I mean. No. Really, I'm fine. You mean you're okay? Just seeing your face, I'm fine. Oh, you are more than beautiful. Look at, look at, I mean, look at. <laughs> wow, good to see you. Thank you. By the way, how is your sister holding up? <laughs> She'll leave. Okay, I mean, so far, has she suspected anything? I mean, I, I couldn't believe she could do that. Oh. I mean, to me, it's it's strange. Like, I, I couldn't even believe she has aborted for four good times. 
that's 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 unbelievable. I thought she was different. The worst is that she was planning to infect me with HIV. Well, it's okay. Well, that was part of the plot in getting me to marry her. I mean, she planned it in a way that by the time she slept with you and infects you with the disease, you have no choice but to marry her. She's such a wicked girl. My sister is not wicked. She, she was merely trying to secure what rightfully belongs to her. By trying to destroy me? Is that what you call secure? Secure? What? Love or what? Oh no. That's wickedness. Anyways, that is in the past. Tsube, I can't believe what I feel for you right now. And I don't want those feelings to waste. In fact, I want to utilize it. What do you have in mind? I promised you that once I step my feet into this country, that I'm going to propose to you. And I'm not proposing to you because I have stepped my feet into the country. I'm proposing to you because I have come to love you. So I've come to love you so much more than I ever loved you, sister. Since this few weeks, you and I got close. In fact, you are so beautiful. Thank you. You are everything I want in the woman. Please marry me. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Hi, Ma. I'm back. Oh, today, yes. <laughs> what is going on here? Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure it's job interview you went for? Yes. Because with what I'm seeing, you are glowing. New hair, new outfit. New shoe. You're looking so fine. This is total transformation. Indeed, my sister. <laughs> the interview went well. My boss was all over me. <laughs> he took me shopping. He's in love. <laughs> hey! To be my happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> we met when I was staying in Uncle Azuka's house. Okay. He's a nice person. You'll meet him soon. You'll see. Cherukwa. <laughs> Wait, is this an iPhone? Yep. You now use an iPhone? Yes. So yes. He said I am too pretty to continue to use Android phone. Hey, this is the exact iPhone Bobby wanted to get for me. So Bim, I'm so happy for you. Thank you know you've you. always wanted to be happy. You deserve to be happy. Come here. So happy for you. Thank you. Look at you. Happiness suits you. Listen. Whatever if Naya has gotten himself into will phase out with time. Just be patient and watch things turn out in your favor. If Naya? Yes. Wait, did you just say if Naya? Oh no, I meant Bob. Bob, definitely Bob. Get my bag. I have just for you. Come on, Naya! Always loved Kaima. But my friend Onyinyechi kept putting ideas in my head. She just. I don't even know. I don't know how she convinced me to do what I did. I knew my sister was. I knew she started suspecting me because the coincidences were now way too much. When she came back, she said whatever trouble Ifunaya had landed himself in, that it would phase out with time. 
if Unaya is not even his native name. That name was given to him by his grandmother. So he told me. He said I should be calling Nifunaya. That the woman he will marry will be the one to call him that name. So when she mentioned Nifunaya, I was shocked. But I hid it. The same iPhone that she came back with is the same phone that Ifunaya said he was going to buy for me. The coincidence was just too much. I decided to trail her. And what happened? <laughs> Sorry for everything. You were a nice person. You were really a nice person. I am so sorry all this happened. But I, I need to do something. I'll be right back. Is she locked up? Yes. Is she okay? Why? Why do you care? She deserves everything she got. She tried to kill you. You know, this is not the first time Zubechi has tried to kill me. What are you talking about? You mean she tried to kill you before now? Yes. I tried to take my life because of Zubechi. <laughs> Is 
the sacrifices of a sister is like having a second mother that you can also call a best friend. Seeing how the presence of my sister lights up any room leads me to believe that I also possess a comparable amount of charm and charisma. My sister has been a model of perseverance and consistency that I lean on for strength during my own times of difficulty. Possessing a loving, fearless sister is like having the best qualities of all of your family members rolled into one. You know, sometimes I just lock myself and cry each time I remember we would get married and live apart. I am still trying to convince myself that the betrayal is just a dream. It is said, one does not dwell on the betrayal that you can see. The true terrifying betrayal is that which lies utterly hidden from your eyes. I would rather die than be betrayed by my dear sister. There is no deceit in death. It delivers precisely what it has promised. Betrayal is the willful slaughter of hope. I love you, Zubechi, but I will never forgive you for what you have done to me. Goodbye, your only sister. Chikaima. <laughs> Chikaima. Is everything okay? You're a friend I never wanted my sister to have. I never supported your friendship with her. I love my sister so much. And I know she loves me with her life. She couldn't have betrayed me and taken my man without your support. You spoiled her. You changed her mind, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Death is not the greatest loss. The greatest loss is what dies inside of us. I have lost the will to continue to live. Because that which I cherish so much has died inside of me. Zubechi. Death is now my companion. Where are you? Please, start coming to my house now. It's a matter of life and death. 
What have you on Olam now? Please, it's very urgent. Biko, Biko. Chikaima. Hold on, okay? You need to think this through. There is nothing to think through. I have decided to die here. You are the murderer. Tell my sister that I love her so much. But I will never forgive her. Not even in the world beyond. Oninechi, today I curse you. You will never find your new love in your life. You will never answer wife to any man on planet Earth. Good luck with your life. From my rotten body, flowers shall grow. And I am in them. What are you saying? Till insanity. Chicken. I love you, Zuben. How come you never told me this? Huh? So both of you have been trying to kill each other. I see. So this is the genesis of this rancor? Yes. Do you think she could actually try to get me killed? Why would you be asking me this kind of question? I mean, what is wrong with you? You're the one who convinced me that she was guilty. So how come all of a sudden you're asking if she's fine or innocent? Ah. Oh. Sacrifices of a sister is like having a second mother that you can also call a best friend. Seeing how the presence of my sister lights up any room leads me to believe that I also possess a comparable amount of charm and charisma. My sister has been a model of perseverance and consistency that I lean on for strength during my own times of difficulty. Possessing a loving, fearless sister is like having the best qualities of all of your family members rolled into one you know sometimes i just lock myself and cry each time i remember we would get married and live apart i am still trying to convince myself that the betrayal is just a dream it is said one does not dwell on the betrayal that we can see the true terrifying betrayal is that which lies utterly hidden from your eyes 
I would rather die than be betrayed by my dear sister. <laughs> my sister. Thankfully, God answered my prayers. She survived. But that was the end of our friendship. It was right around that period she got her admission into the university. She came back one day, packed her things, and left. She didn't even say a word to me. And all my efforts to reach her proved abortive. What, what then happened to Bobby? Zubi, you've not been taking my calls. What is going on? You ruined my life. You ruined my life! Now get out. Leave this compound else I will scream and people will come for I you. I don't understand. What is this all about? Wait, wait, is it about your sister? You're the one I'm in love with. Please, don't, don't tell me this. Get out! <laughs> Take your iPhone. Take it and go. Jesus. What is going on? I don't understand, Mama. Get out! Who is this? Is it kidnapper? I am not! Tima! So you're a kidnapper! No! Hey! Oh, I see what's going on now! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a kidnapper! You're a kidnapper! Get out! Hey! Get out! I'm not sure! I'm a kidnapper! Hey! Mune, where did you know that man from? And who is he? And why are you born in these things? What is the problem? Why are you born in there? Please, do all you can to get me out of here. Please. I will. I promise you tomorrow you'll be out of here. Okay? love can bring give us strength and understanding give us all one soul to sing it's time to stand up to a new world that is now so near, but onto the top, to the leaders of the land. We all have one. My baby. Let's sit down, sit down. Show the world and all its people all the wonders love can bring. 
Give us love and understanding. Give us all one song to sing. Let the music play. Play it loud and make it clear. It's time to stand up to a new world that is now so near. Baby? What's wrong? What's, what is wrong? Why are you crying? It's my sister. I miss her so much. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Where, where is your sister? Even if she's in Afghanistan, I will go and bring her back to you. Come on, baby, where is she? She's dead. Is there, is there anything I can do to bring her back to life? L listen, I have numbers of men of God that can bring her back to life. She died 10 years ago. So, when my auntie was telling me what happened between she and her sister, I felt so bad. You know, I used to hate her. I never loved her because I thought she was a bad person, but she's not. She used to love her sister so much. She came to hate her when she betrayed her. And that was exactly what happened between me and my sister. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Which of your auntie are you talking about? The, the one I told you slapped me twice. Don't understand. She's still alive. She should be dead. What? What? What are you talking about? Baby, she slapped the love of my life. She is supposed to be dead by now. Which of the hospital is she? Listen, baby. Nobody touches the love of my life and live to see the brightness of the next day. Hold on. Do you have a hand in what happened to her? Maybe she slapped the love of my life. So she must die! She must die! I, I tried shooting her, but she survived it. Earlier today when you said you were taking food to her, I poisoned the food. And she survived it again. No! She must die! Maybe she must die! Baby, mm -hmm. do you think she has eaten? Who? Zubechi. She might be hungry in the cell and those bad criminals might hurt her. I, I need to make a call right away, okay? I'll be right back. Baby. Yes? When they arrested her, did they beat her? Zubechi doesn't like pains. I need to make this call. It's urgent. I'll be right back. Forgot to open the door. 
Ibo, I want to go. Wait, calm down. Where are you going to? I'm going home. I'm going home. Oh, no, baby, please wait. You need to stay here. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please. Nothing is going to happen to me. I came here by myself. I have to go by myself. Wait, 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 I don't like it. Wait, wait. My brother will be looking for me. Oh. Baby, baby, please calm down. That woman is still out there. She will hurt you. And I can't take it. She's not going to do me anything, please. I beg you. She was just angry. That was why she slapped me. She's a good person, I promise you. Sweetheart, so don't you just, just listen to me. That woman is, is still out there. She has evil plans against you. So I, I, I must go out right now and take care of things tonight. Just, 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 just wait here, please, okay? Please, Bukati, I beg you in the name of God. If you really love me, please don't hurt her. If you hurt her, you hurt me. Please, I beg you. Baby, you are not understanding all this whole thing. If I don't hurt this woman, she will end up hurting you. Let me, let me just take care of things tonight. Just, just calm down and, and, and stay safe here, okay? This woman, she will hurt you. No, no, she will not. She will hurt you. Just allow me to kill her tonight, okay? I will end everything tonight. Please don't. Please don't. Please forget me. Please, I beg you. I love you. to stay here and be safe, okay? Please, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I love you. I love you. I'll be right back. She's your wife. She's going to pay for what she did. Yeah. 
Kenny, how could you have done this to me and my wife? I still can't believe this. What will you have me do, Val? What will you have me do? Kenny, you should have trusted me. You should have trusted me like you always did. For goodness sake, we've been like brothers since we got married to these women. We agreed that none of their issues will ever come between our friendship. But look at us now. What happened? I freaked out. I got confused, bro. Let me ask you a question. Do you actually believe that my wife is capable of the allegation that has been laid against her? Trust me, bro. I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know. yourself in my shoes. Your wife gets shot. And just when you're trying to figure out what happened, boom, the strike. They try to poison her again. I mean, I am freaking out. I don't know, I don't know what to think right now. Trust me, bro, I'm freaking out. I'm really scared. I'm really scared. Hey, what's going on? I went for a security check and I saw him coming out from the ward. Who? That guy that just left here. What? What? The guy? Hey!
the hell is wrong with you, Tony? What the hell is wrong with you, Tony? I'm sorry. I paid you heavily to keep an eye on my wife. Yet you left her for some security check? What the hell is that? I am sorry. I will find her. Well, it's obvious my wife got kidnapped. But listen, find her. Else you have me to contend with. I promise you. Can you imagine that? Listen, Kenny, I think it's time we make an official report to the police. I mean, you can't just rely on this guy to handle it alone. I mean, it's... It's crazy. We, we have to find something, eh? Seriously, I don't know what to think anymore. My wife just got kidnapped, bro. My wife. Look, look, look. There has to be something. A trace, eh? Some CCTV footage or something we can, you know, fall back on. I, I, I mean, there has to be something, eh? Yes. The doctor. Madam, somebody wants to see you. She left the hospital on her own. Definitely. So where's she going? I don't know. Look, I have an idea. She 
Hiroshima. I didn't try to kill you. I know. I know you didn't try to kill me. But anger and hate took the better part of me. You know what they say about anger? Anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone. You are the one that will get burnt. Never respond to an angry person with a fiery comeback. I'm sorry I betrayed you. I still regret my actions till this day. I felt so bad. It was like I was stabbed at the back. It still feels like yesterday. That's why I was convinced you tried to kill me even when I know you couldn't. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Remember what Papa used to say about forgiveness. He always said, forgive others, not because they deserve it, but because you deserve peace. When you let go of all the heart from the past, you heal better and faster. Forgive me, please. I am truly sorry. I missed you so bad. I missed you so much. I, I missed you in a horrible way. When my husband told me he got you arrested, I, I couldn't withstand it. I felt your pain. I, I felt so bad. I, I couldn't imagine what you went through. I felt you might take your life. That's why I took the weeks to come and see you. So babe, I love you so much. And I missed you. I missed you. Tonight, but one idiot got on my way. Actually, I'll keep trying until I kill her, okay? Once I kill her, we are free, right? What do you think? 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 What do you want? I don't know what I'm doing. What I'm doing. What Stop! 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 Stop!
okay? I'm right here. Stop. Give you food, okay? Give you food, I give you water. Show you things I want from you. Okay? I'm gonna feed you right Baby? Baby? Is there anybody you did business with that might want you dead? None I can think of. I can't remember any. We need to find out who it is that desperately wants you dead. I know, but for us I need to call my husband. I need to get you out of this place. You need to live here. You can't sleep here. Who be kind here? I also want to speak with you. Hello, baby. I know. I'm sorry I got you worried. I needed to come and see my sister. I don't want her to sleep here. Yes, I'm taking her on bail. You need to withdraw the case against her immediately. There is no way my sister can be part of any conspiracy to kill me. Please, act fast. Come to the police station immediately. Where is she? I left you here. I asked you to stay here and stay safe. What am I doing here? Doctor, I, I, I left her here. She actually passed out. So I, I, I brought you to, to resuscitate her. I, I left my baby here. Baby, where are you? I asked you to stay here. Baby! 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 Baby, where are you? Baby, do go to baby. What's your name? Baby! Baby, where are you?
Uh, hey, I'm looking for one lady with a yellow top and a black trouser. Nobody come here. Let me get here. Uh, well, who will be? She's she's actually my friend, you know. Nobody enter here, and I have the boots. Why they beat my house? Sorry, 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 calm down. It's very important. I've been out here for. You be thief. You be thief. Hey, Make bro, I chill, out. man. Come on for here now. Why they why they chill? Why they beat chill, man? Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Let's see up. Wait, wait. Chill, 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 man. Let's see up now. Make I make I shout. Make I. Ole. You thief, bro. Ole. Ole. Come now. I'm there to look for you. One man. Yes, sir. Hey, hey it's my was my boyfriend. I never knew he has mental issues. He's really obsessed with me. So, when I told him Auntie Kaima slapped me, he took it personal. He tried to assassinate you. He said he would kill anybody that lays his or her finger on me. So, the day I was bringing food to the hospital, I stopped by his house. I told him I was bringing the food to you. I never knew he poisoned it. How did you know all this? He told me, I got scared and tried to run. He said he would kill you. He came to the hospital to finish what he started.
was when I saw him. He ran away and I followed him to his house. So when I was taking her to the hospital, she woke up and asked me to bring her back home. Hold on a second. Does he know where you live? Chelsea? Does he know where you live? I am here for two things. Everybody calm down. I'll be right soon. One is to hurt that woman who tried to hurt the love of my life. And secondly, people, I am here to take the love of my life out of this place. You're not taking anybody out. You're under arrest for an attempted murder and kidnap. Drop your weapons. You think I'm joking? Oh, you think I'm joking? Baby! Baby! Baby, I know you're there. Come out, baby, please. Leave that woman, baby, please. She might hurt you. And you know if she hurts you, I'm going to kill myself. Baby, please. You know I love you with my life, baby. Please. Please come out, let's leave this place, baby. Please, baby. Baby! Baby, please, I'm sorry. What happened? What, what happened? She just shot the kid. <gasps> what? No! No! What you gonna do about that? You need to take him out. Okay. Our lives might be in danger. <laughs> I need to call for backup. Hello. The network is found. I will count to ten. If you don't provide the woman who hit my baby and give me back the love of my life, I will come in there and kill everybody. One! Did they hurt you? Are you okay? Are you sure? Oh, I missed you. I missed you. Shh. Where's Chelsea? Chelsea? Ch Ch Chelsea? She was right. Right there. Chelsea! Chelsea! Oh, God. She, she, she was right here. Where did she go? You need to see this. What you doing?
Every curse has a blessing. And every blessing has a cause. When you stand face to face with your destiny, will you be able to tell one from the other? Karma has no menu. What goes around comes around. And sometimes you get what's coming around. Karma is like a boomerang. What you give out always come back to you. Karma is a powerful force. Karma is the universe way of balancing things out. Life is painful. It has thorns that grow like the stem of a rose. Arts and culture is the roses that bloom on the stem. The flower is yourself, your humanity. Arts is the liberation of the humanity inside yourself. All I see is karma and causes. Great servant of the river, please, we are lost. Can you be more specific? I can't be more specific than I am now. All I see is karma and causes. Go, she will figure it out. I did not understand anything she said in there. Yeah. That was helpful. She gave us clues. Karma and curse. You have to think. Think about Just what? calm down and think. Think what? I have never wronged anyone in my life. I have never offended anyone in my life. See, 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 see. Let me tell you. I do not, I do not believe all these uh, white garment prophets and prophetess things. I do not. So please, do not, do not bring me to such place. I beg you in the name of God. Biko, Biko. No, 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 no. Hold on. I used to leave this village. Yes, wow. So how are you now? I'm fine. It's been a long time. Yes. Where have you been? No, no. Come back. You just came back? Yes. Ah, you're yes. looking good though. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, my car. Ha! Big boy! <laughs> oh God, you oh God. You want to put man to. Oh God. Uh, pardon my manner. No problem. Uh, princess. Wow. Meet my childhood friend. Pratt, my lover, he used to be my lover back then, <laughs> you know, and I was stylishly crushing my hips. Yeah, <laughs> right, that's princess, right, my right. very good friend. Hi. So, where are you guys going to? I'm going home. You're going home? Let me drop you off. It's your car. Yeah. Hey, I'm well, going now. Meanwhile, um, I came to buy me for my mother. Oh, okay. Yes. So, let me just turn up and drop you off. Exactly. exactly. Join us now. Let's, let's drop you off. I have to catch up with that thing I told you about. Ah, I will take you, Jenny. Don't, don't worry. I'll come and see you. Ah, you promise. Okay, I see you. that place. I'm not taking that. Just think about it. I'm telling you, do not think about, about it. Think about it. Uh -uh. So, how much meat are you buying? I'll buy all. All? Yes. Mwaga? All is that much? All of them. Mm -hmm. No, I don't give you 30 pounds. Say what? 30 pounds. Ah, let the poor brute. No, he wants suffocators. Mm. You, you don't say everything, don't go. Country, country, country. had a bed. The meat are nice. 
Ah, you know, so this one bone plenty. This one not the medical. I won't forgive us for that. This means even past that if I not because it's just one girl. You are still as beautiful as you were when we were younger. Thank you. You're welcome. So, are you married? Not yet, but I have lots of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have a lot of them. You're a beautiful girl. Look at you. So now tell me, is there any space for me to apply as one of your suitors? Um, see, Unye, I actually came back home to look for a wife, and boom, I met my childhood lover. You know, marriage is something huge. Sometimes, I'm scared of entering into it. I want us to understudy ourselves first. Please. What are we understudying? Only what are we understudying? I've known you for a very long time. I know your mother, I know your father. You're a very nice girl. Only I can't imagine spending the rest of my life with someone else, if not you. Are you indirectly asking me to marry you? Unless you need a ring, I can provide one. Of what? You know now. They keep coming before you know it. Mm, 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 yeah. Please try and be positive now. Don't worry. This one will stay. Okay? Amen. Amen. I love you so much. Oh, God bless. <laughs> God bless you. He will stay. <laughs> What is going on? He's not taking my calls. Has he been ringing? Yes. Sometimes the line will be engaged. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what is going on. Can you maybe he has lost his phone or something? I went to his house to look for him. <laughs> this door was locked. <laughs> He's not even taking my calls. He's not returning my calls it's too. It's okay. Why not just use my phone and call him? Maybe he will pick. Yeah, baby? Hello? My, my friend, you met the other day with me. He hung the call on me. Try again. He will pick. Just try. Again, not 
once again. Calm down. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down. It is happening again. It's happening again. It is happening again. I'm tired. Your friend just called me now with your number. I need to see you. It's very important I see you. I will text you the address now. Yes, in the next 14 minutes, I want to see you. Who, who was that? My uncle. He just sent me for an errand. Oh, I thought he was the one. <laughs> I don't know. Please, uh, in case if he calls, eh? Tell him that I've been calling him, he's not connecting, that he should call me. It's fine, I will tell him. Mm. Just tell him to call my line. I will. Or you can, you can bring the thing to me. I will, I will. Okay, man. please, don't, don't, don't do anything. No problem, no problem. Keep, keep on, keep on dying the line, eh? He's, he's big. Jesus, God. God, please, I beg of you. Don't allow this one to pass me by, God. Allow this precious world to pass me by. I love him. I love him with all of me. Please forgive me if I have offended anyone. Please. I lift my voice to the falling rain. I lift my voice to the rolling water. As I come before her healing water, I find peace and strength within me again. Please, the great servant of the river, is she my wife? You have been of help to me, the great one. The reason I am where I am today is because of your directions and your prophecy. Please, I want to know if she's the woman I will spend the rest of my life with. I see karma and causes that will ruin your life forever. She has lots of negative energy. She is not your wife. Your wife is the one who is close to her. The one you have already met. Great one. You mean her friend? I do not know. You figure it out. A part of faith is the freedom of man forever wells up the impulse of choosing and acting soon. Faith is a train rolling down the track of life. Sometimes we step off the train and unless you look back over your shoulder and see the train roaring past, you will not know what you have missed. I can't! I can't do yeah, She's my best friend! I cannot betray her! Well, it's not my fault. I am as shocked as you are. She said the one closest to her, the one she tells everything, the one I've already met, is my wife. I do not understand. You mean Prophet Sana told you this? You know her? Yes. She's also my spiritual director. Then, if you know her, you know she doesn't lie. Everything she says is real. I actually had this weird feeling the day I met you. The feelings I've never had for a long time. I felt the same way too. much for bringing me. After declaring my intention to marry you. Okay. 
I have to see my spiritual director for approval. And she told me that you're not my wife. What? She had never lied to me. Yes, we are. He's actually talking about properties, Hannah. She had never lied to me. She said my destiny lies with the place of her. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Sorry. I understand how you feel, Pili. Can you just calm down, okay? Ah! Stop. What? Please, get what Once an evil is invited, tremendous effort is required to show it to the door and kick its cloven hoof of the strength. The cause of every evil is found in the subconscious. How important it is to find detachment. And when you give it room, it comes back to hurt you all day long. Father's grace and ask for forgiveness. Because forgiveness is the act of the will. And the will can function regardless of the temperature of the heart. I, I, I don't understand what you're saying. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The one whom you turned her heart against her sister. She laid a curse on you. Shut up. 
Is everything okay? You are a friend I never wanted my sister to have. I never supported your friendship with her. I love my sister so much. And I know she loves me with her life. She couldn't have betrayed me and taken my man without your support. You spoiled her. You changed her mind, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Death is not the greatest loss. The greatest loss is what dies inside of us. I have lost the will to continue to live. Because that which I cherish so much has died inside of me. Zubechi. Death is now my companion. Where are you? Please, start coming to my house now. It's a matter of life and death. What have you all on now? Please, it's very urgent. Biko, Biko. Chikaima. Hold on, okay? You need to think this through. There is nothing to think through. I have decided to die here. You are the murderer. Tell my sister that I love her so much. But I will never forgive her. Not even in the world beyond. Oninechi, today I curse you. You will never find your new love in your life. You will never answer wife to any man on planet Earth. Good luck with your life. There is no love without forgiveness. And there is no forgiveness without love. The weak cannot forgive. Forgiveness is an attribute of the strong. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting. It is, however, choosing to remember love. There is nobility in compassion. There is beauty in empathy. And there is grace in forgiveness. Without forgiveness, there is no future. Papa, forgiveness is not approving what you want, but choosing to rise above it. Papa, you taught us three resources, very important resources to love. Praise 
and forgive. Mistakes are forgivable if only we are courageous enough to admit them. Papa, we have admitted our mistakes. That is why we are here, kneeling before your grace, begging for your forgiveness. Forgiveness is an act of the will. A will can function regardless of the temperature of the heart. Anger makes us small. Forgiveness pushes us to grow beyond what we really were. When a deep wound is done to us, we don't recover from it until we forgive. Papa, we are sorry. We are sorry. And the virtue of forgiveness is divine. Darkness cannot drive away darkness. It's only light who do that. Drive away it. It's only love. We do that. The only thing that evil cannot stop is forgiveness. I won't say we can forgive. We remain locked in, in our pain and locked out of responsibility of experiencing healing and freedom. Locked out of being at peace. Chikaima, I know I have wronged you. I know I have wronged you. I deceived your sister. All I'm asking is for your forgiveness. You cost me. Look at me. I am pretty. I'm lonely. But I'm still in my father's house. No hope of getting married anytime soon. Because of the cost you laid on me. Please. Please, I beg of you. Please. Please. Forgive me. Forgive me. I please forgive you. Please. Please, I beg of you.
komm. Komm. Today, I set you free from every curse I have placed on you. Today, you will find your new love. You will become a wonderful wife to a wonderful man. <laughs> I set you free. Every course in your life is broken. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. You're free. <laughs> When did you come back? I've been looking for you for ages. Oh God, you look so beautiful. Hello. Are you still single? Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> 